what sub freaking genius is. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find missing dimensions in right cones. All right, so we're gonna go over two examples. Let's start with this one right here. So as you can see, we're given this cone right here. We're given that the radius is equal to three centimeters. And the two lengths that we're looking for are the height of the cone and also this length, this slanted length, which if you look right here, we basically have a right triangle, right? So this length is really the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So those are the two things we're looking for. And one piece of information that we're given is that the surface area is equal to 75.4 centimeters squared. So we can probably use the formula to find the surface area of right cones, which is the surface area of a right cone is equal to pi r squared plus pi r l, where r just stands for the radius of the cone and l is already labeled as L, it's this slanted height or slanted length. Or again, the other way you could look at it is it's the hypotenuse of this right triangle. All right, so here, let's plug in what we know so far. So we know the surface area of the cone, right? It's given as 75.4, so we'll plug that in for S, and that's equal to pi times the radius squared. The radius again is three, so here we're gonna get three squared plus pi, times the radius again, which again is three, and then times the length, that slanted length, which we don't know right now, so we'll just leave it as L. Okay, so then here, let's simplify some stuff. So we're gonna get 75.4 is equal to three squared, that's equal to nine, and nine times pi is equal to nine pi, and then we're gonna add that to, let's see, three times pi, that's equal to three pi, and then we're multiplying by L. All right, so here we're trying to solve for L, so we wanna isolate it. So the first thing we can do is get rid of this nine pi, and you can try and ask it nicely. It'll probably say no. So in that case, we're going to have to subtract nine pi from both sides. So on this side, they're gonna get in a fight and kill each other. And then on this side, 75.4 minus nine pi, if you plug that into your calculator, you'll get that this is equal to approximately 47.1, right? So then that's gonna be equal to whatever we have left right here, which is just three pi times L. All right, now in order to solve for L, we can get rid of this three pi by dividing both sides by three pi. All right, these guys get in a fight too. Boom, boom, knock each other out. So then all we're left with is L is equal to 47.1 divided by three pi, which is equal to five, all right? Five what? Well, what are our units? Well, this is a length right here, right? And our units are centimeters, so L is equal to five centimeters, right? So let's plug in a five right here for this L, for this hypotenuse. All right, great, so now that we know what L is equal to, five, now we have two sides of this right triangle, right? We have this, this hypotenuse, and we have one of this, these shorter sides. So in order to solve for this last missing side, the height, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a and b are the two shorter sides and c is the hypotenuse, okay? So whenever you know two sides of a right triangle, you can always solve for that last missing third side using this formula, all right? So let's just plug in what we know. So we know one of the sides, right, is three. So this first a squared is gonna be three squared, and then we're gonna add that to this other side, which we don't know, which is just labeled as h, so we're gonna leave this as h squared, and that's gonna be equal to the hypotenuse squared. The hypotenuse is five, so we're gonna get five squared right there. Now three squared is equal to nine, h squared is just h squared, and that's equal to five squared, which is 25. All right, now to solve for h squared, we need to kill this nine, and we can do that by Subtracting nine from both sides, they die, and we're left with h squared is equal to 25 minus nine is 16. All right, now to get rid of this exponent, the two, you can once again ask it kindly to leave, it probably won't. So what we have to do here instead is take the square root of both sides, right? So that makes it, these two kill each other, and then all we're left with is h, is equal to the square root of 16, which is equal to four. All right, and our units, don't forget, are centimeters. So h is equal to four centimeters, boom. All right, let's try one more here. 
So again, we're given a cone with a right angle. It tells us that the height of the cone is 18 inches and we're trying to find the radius. And one piece of information that it gives us is that the volume is equal to 216 pi inches cubed, all right? So since it gives us the volume, we could probably use the formula to find the volume of a cone, which is V is equal to one third pi r squared h, where r is again the radius and h is the height of the cone, the vertical height, okay? So here we can say that the volume, which is given as 216 pi, so let's plug that in. So we're gonna say two, uh, that's not a two, that's a one. I think I learned that a long time ago. 216 pi is equal to one third times pi times the radius squared. Here the radius, we don't know, it's not given, so we'll just leave that as the radius squared times the height, which the height right here is 18. So we'll plug in an 18 right there. So here we're gonna get 216 pi is equal to, uh, let's see, one third times 18, or in other words, 18 divided by three is equal to six. So when you combine those two numbers, you get just six. And then we're left with just pi r squared, right? Pi r squared, right? Now, in order to isolate r squared, we can get rid of the six pi by dividing both sides by six pi. All right, so then on this side, they cancel out and we're left with just r squared is equal to this side and uh, we have a pi on top and the bottom, so those kill each other. So then here we just have 216 divided by six, which is equal to 36, right? Now, in order to, again, get rid of this square exponent, you can try punching it, probably won't do anything. So we're going to take the square root of both sides, all right? So then on this side, those cancel out and we're left with r is equal to the square root of 36, which is equal to six, all right? So that's what r is equal to and don't forget your units, which here are inches, right? So the radius, here is six inches, all right? That's a respectable radius. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.